getting some work done on the computer and I'm just putting a pot of water on for my second coffee of the morning. My mom is gonna come and pick me up a little bit later. We're gonna take Ty B, I think, out for a walk today because um, it's nice and overcast, which most people probably lament, but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> um, this morning, I, you know, per usual, put on my Elta MD UV Clear, but I am also, um, I'm also still rocking that Color Science tinted tinted sunscreen, um, just kind of to dark spots on my upper cheek area, and I don't know, I'm really enjoying it. But um, one thing that I um, am trying out as well, um, and have been using and liking, and will be reviewing for you guys later this week, is the Super Goop. I've used this before, actually. Um, I can't remember when, but I'll just come over here and talk to you. Yeah, so it's the Super Goop um, eye cream with oat peptides, whatever, you know, like you don't really need a separate eye cream, as I've said before. Uh, honestly, I mean, just putting your sunscreen under your eyes is more than adequate. This, like the Color Science one that I'm using, has a little metal applicator doohickey. This is a mineral sunscreen, a mineral sunscreen just like the Color Science one. This one isn't tinted. I believe they have a tinted one as well, um, which gives you the iron oxide. So that is here. We'll just let me just situate you. I'm wearing my little camera necklace here from Rosa Villa. So yeah, that's that's just a little difference between the Super Goop one and the one that I'm using from Color Science. The Super Goop tinted one, however, has methyl isothiazinolone in it, which is a preservative that is fine, but if you're allergic to it, just be aware of that um, and avoid it. The Color Science one, however, does not have methyl isothiazinolone in it. The other product from Super Goop that I just um, opened up and have started using is the Shannon. Can you see this? The Shine On Lip Screen. I haven't put it on today, but let's just do a little, let's just do a little tote test here. Um, it's really, I'm on the fence about the applicator. Um, it doesn't bother me, but I feel as though, it's one of these little doohickeys like a lip gloss. I feel as though some people will not like this, just because I think a lot of people have, uh, have pause whenever they see this putting on the lips and dipping back in. I mean, it makes people squeamish. There are preservatives in here and things like that, but you never know. So, but I really like this a lot as far as a lip gloss. I mean, it goes on, it goes on shiny, just like a lip gloss. And you know, it's touting itself as having great polyphenols in it or whatever. This is, this is a chemical sunscreen. It's got avabenzone in it. And I always thought that chemical sunscreens and lip lip products irritated me, but this one doesn't for whatever reason. I've been enjoying this a lot. Um, it stays on, it's not drying. I tend to have chelitis or dry lips because of my background of eczema, and that does not bother me whatsoever. I'm getting in some more coffee. Got my beauty dust here. Yeah, I'm drinking my Mistello. Um, I'm back on Bustello, so good. If you're new here, I drink um, an espresso in my, can make espresso in my little Bialetti here. And I pour it in a little beauty dust. And I have this odd thing where I like to stir it with a fork, a bent fork specifically, don't know why. It's, it's just a little quirk. But um, yeah, I, I put a little, like basically a shot worth of espresso in my beauty dust, mix it up and add boiling water to kind of make it like an Americano. Oh, but that's so good. All right, so I updated you on Super Goop. I'll be reviewing their sunscreens for you all later this week. Food update, my son. I have to warn you, if you recall, I purchased these at Costco, my haul this week. I feel like a dragon. I feel like I have, this has relinquished some kind of inner power. These are these are amazing. This is these are dry, uh, desiccated pitaya. You know how much I love the Rhythm Superfood beet chips. This is like it's this is like it's gorgeous, gorgeous twin sister. Beautiful, love this. Um, all it is is the pitaya fruit or dragon fruit that's been desiccated. No added sugar, nothing. 
It is nine servings, and it retails at Costco. This nine serving bag is nine dollars and forty nine cents, which is expen you know kind of pricey for nine snacks. But pitaya, the whole fruit, is pretty expensive. So this is definitely worth giving a try. And I'm going through it really fast, so I don't know how. I don't know how good that is, but it is so good. I mean, it doesn't have any added sugar, and uh, it just tastes so good. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Have you guys ever had a pitaya or a dragon fruit? They, um, sometimes they can be red on the inside, and sometimes they're white, but this is what the desiccated one looks like. And it's got these little seedy doodles. Really good. Um, you know, I'd like to pretend that I'm doing something jazzy with that, but I'm really just eating it out of the bag. But I did try, I did try putting putting some in a smoothie bowl, and it kind of gets a little soggy and reconstitutes a little bit. It sounds disgusting, but it's quite good. Oh God, what would I be without you? What would I be without you? Oh, but one other, one other iHerb update. This is so awesome, okay? You'll recall I purchased this on iHerb. This is the Taste of California Gusto Spite. Really Taste of California here with Beauty Dust. Beauty <coughs> Dust comes from Los Angeles, so it's a fab. Um, but you'll recall I purchased this um, from iHerb and I was drawn to it by virtue of the by virtue of the tin, right? It's got a it's got a magnet on the back, so you can you can line these up. They they have many different types of spices. This is the one that I got. It is really good. Tastes really good. Strawberries, lemon peel, cilantro, thyme. It's kind of like a dry rub seasoning. It has no added salt. Really good. But the packaging is brilliant. Okay, not only is it in this little metal tin that you can store, um, you know, on a magnetic strip, that is you know, completely opaque so no light can get in and degrade your spice. But I didn't even notice this when I when I took it out of the box. When you rotate the lid, you, ha you have sprinkle opening when you rotate the lid and you have Biggie Mouth. How cool is that? I just think this is brilliant packaging. I mean, I'm sure this exists like, like in, you know, culinary st like stores, kitchen supply stores. I'm just out of it. I'm so, I'm so blown away by this product. Um, the seasoning is good. Um, I like it a lot. If the seasoning were terrible, I would continue to buy these just to, accru just to accumulate these little, these little metal tins. So anyways, that is what is going on. This is my hand soap, by the way. I have a fragrance-free one in my bathroom, but this pear nectar one is really nice. I have it out here in the kitchen. I really enjoy it. Bye.
bed. I had to go back in my back in my bed. What do you have there, Tybee? What is that that you're chewing on? Is that a is that a bone? You got a little chewy bone? <laughs> it was, uh, it's kind of brisk out. It was cold yes. out, actually. I, I actually felt chill. Yeah, it was quite cold. What a nice walk, though. That was great. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, I'm rocking this uh, Totoro sweatshirt. <laughs> Never thought I'd be wearing wearing a sweatshirt in. It's perfect in for today. Yeah. Yeah, it matches my. He matches my socks. <laughs> so. <laughs> Speaking of the, uh, the devil, Totoro, I've got, <laughs> quote, my mom's mug here that I drink out of when I come over here, her Totoro cup. And I just brewed up uh, some of the Yogi um, Skin Detox Tea. Love is the ultimate law of life. <laughs> it looks like you're, you're getting ready to steam some asparagus. Asparagus with lemon and garlic, broccoli. Ooh. And I'm gonna try this veggie. Barilla version. Cool. I don't know. And um, you made some chickpeas in your in your uh, AKA garbanzos. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. You're like you're liking the Instapot. Instapot. I don't have it for things like this. It's you know it's really pays handy. for itself. Yeah. No more canned beans for me. I use my Kosari every day. I mean, every day, at least twice a day. I use it for the cauliflower oats in the morning, and then I make dinner in it every day. I mean, I've I've used yeah. it every day since I got it. They're great. It's yeah. a wonderful invention. I I don't know how I live without it. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, soothing rose hibiscus skin detox tea that I got the other day. It has it has green tea in it, so I drink it in the mid mid morning if I have it. It's pretty good. Um, it's ro rose, what's, what's in this? Green tea, a rose petal, honey bush, hibiscus flower, red clover leaf, rose flavor, pomegranate flavor, cardamom, barberry root, orange peel, burdock root, dandelion root. My goodness, they put the whole garden in here. And or what is organic yellow dock root? And then stevia, hmm. pretty good. Ty B got a new got a new bed. It looks like he did. He need, this is his little nursery over here. What's that dragon? That's cute. Well, he had to go to the vet, and he needed to get a treat for being a good boy at the vet. Yeah, I agree. He got his shots. Yeah, he got his last round of shots. Last round of shots. And he weighs seven point six pounds. You're growing every time I come over here. He's a big boy. I dare say some of those. Uh, geese were larger than eight pounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had some really big ones over there. Tybee wasn't afraid. And geese and ducks. Uh, geese and what? And ducks. Yeah, the ducks were cute. Don't worry, not as cute as you. Oh, nobody's as cute as ducks. Oh, that looks delicious. You got your noodles. Mine. Asparagus, tomato, garbanzo. Primavera. Lots of uh, pepper. Yeah. Looks I'm delish. I'm excited about this. Looks In delish. Fact, I'm so excited. I'm not even going to wait for you. <laughs> That's rude. Yeah, I have it? to put together my, my lunch. All right, so I made myself a head size salad. I have a um, head of romaine lettuce here, and then I just topped it with some of my mom's. Uh, primavera pasta here and chickpeas. I put some mushrooms on. These are some steamed carrots. Um, this is a Triscuit. Uh, lem Thai basil lemongrass Triscuits. Um, let me check. Yeah, ginger, ginger and lemongrass. I wanted to it's try my it. favorite oh, Triscuit. You like those? Yeah, I love Triscuits. They're very good. Yeah. This looks good. How's the pasta? I love it. You liked it? Did you uh, Did you get some? I haven't tried any yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got to protect uh, Totoro with Classy here. <laughs> dinner time. <laughs> just having his dinner there. Um, good news. We uh, just got back from looking at um, what I think is the final apartment. So I think I have picked picked the winner. So stay tuned, summer 2018, for my new. Uh, new location, <laughs> but um, anyways, I wanted to come back to this Super Goop um, eye cream with oat peptides. Um, you know, I mentioned in my um, peptides and skincare video, 
uh, that colloidal oatmeal and oat derived peptides can actually be helpful as moisturizers. And colloidal oatmeal is something that has been used um, in eczema therapy for a long, long time and is a common ingredient as a good moisturizer. has been really shown to help restore the dry, impaired skin barrier of eczema inflamed skin. Colloidal oatmeal is basically ground up um, oats um, and it's ground up in such a way that uh, the individual particles are um, within a certain size parameter, even really, really tiny, like smaller than 75 micrometers. Um, and really what that allows is to make a, a slurry that um, releases um, some of the beta-glucans from the oat, um, oat hull, I guess, um, as well as peptides and lipids. So colloidal oatmeal is kind of like a slurry of uh, plant-derived humectants and natural uh, moisturizing factors, lipids, things that can help the skin barrier heal. It's also rich in um, fatty acids. It's rich in linoleic acid, which is really important for repairing the skin barrier. So colloidal oatmeal is a well-established humectant moisturizing ingredient that is really, really good. Um, and it contains about roughly 20% protein. So you know, hence the oat peptides jazziness of this um, particular eye cream. This is very expensive, a very expensive way to add oat peptide to your skincare routine. A, it's expensive because it is just a little tiny tube um, and it's only, it's being marketed as just for under the eyes. Um, the sunscreen in this is quite good and I'll review more about it in a video later this week. But what I think is a, a good, drugstore nighttime dupe for this if you're using it and you like it and you think that it like super hydrates under your eyes. A good at least nighttime dupe for this is the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Balm. I'll list it down uh, below for you guys. That is a, a body moisturizer that I've used on my face and it works quite well and it's basically colloidal oatmeal. They don't have a sunscreen equivalent unfortunately. Their sunscreens, Aveeno sunscreens, all have fragrance in them, and most of their sunscreens are chemical sunscreens, whereas this is a mineral sunscreen. So this is a superior sunscreen. Um, I haven't, I don't, I can't find a mineral sunscreen in the drugstore that has colloidal oatmeal in it that is fragrance-free. So this kind of wins in the daytime category. But as far as nighttime and getting the extra moisture. Um, uh, from the colloidal oatmeal, I think the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Balm is a much better value than this. This is like 38 bucks for this tiny little tube. And on Amazon, I think it's like 45. It's really expensive for a little, a little dab of sunscreen. So, <laughs> advanced anti-aging. <laughs> what did you think of uh, the apartment? Are you, do you think that I made a good choice? What are your thoughts? Yeah. seems to be. I'm glad you were. Yeah. Did you sign the lease? I put my application in and I was approved right away. So I'm more or less on, you know, I'm more or less there. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm excited then we just have moving day. Yeah. So decluttering, minimalist decluttering before the move. You're like, what could she possibly declutter? But there's always something to get rid of. Um, yeah, this apartment, I think I'm going to like, it's got a... It's got a, um, it's got a little balcony, like I said, I wanted for plants, you know, small. It um, has, it's just laid out much better, don't you think? It's laid out so that, you know, the, first of all, the washer and dryer is not in the kitchen. I hated that about, I hate that about my current apartment. I just find it's kind of annoying and a nuisance. I don't like that idea because, you know, when you do laundry, the wind flies everywhere. Yeah. And vice versa, when you're doing laundry and you're cooking, you don't want the cooking smells to, to get into your clean laundry. Yeah, the the laundry is um, the washer and dryer are are on on a wall that is shared with when you exit the bathroom, so it makes sense. You know, you you take your your clothes off, you get undressed at the end of the day to take a shower or whatever, and you just have the laundry room there. 
It's much better. So I like that. The, there, the, there are a lot more pools, although I don't obviously go out in the pool, but. And, oh, the location, the, the spot that I got is also right across from the gym, so. Speaking of gym, I'm going to get ready to head to the gym now. So I think I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.